I'm going to show you how to swap lanes. But first, it is very important to remember. This is a belt or a line. And this is a lane. There are two lanes on each belt or line. So lane, line, lane. All right. So you have created a huge smelting column or a long factory. And all the inserters are placing items on the far side of the belt or one lane. This can be a major bottleneck because only one lane is being used, which means you are only getting 50% of your belt's potential throughput. We need to get items on that empty lane. How to resolve this? Well, you need to swap lanes to balance them. And how do we do that? Well, there are a few ways. A simple, beautiful and cheap method is to curve the bell into itself. No fancy splitters are needed and it just works. Another approach is to use a splitter to direct items to the other lane. Look at this. Splitters preserve lanes. If your items are on the right side or far side, they will remain there after going through the splitter. Look at all the ways this can go wrong. So it's easier to stick with the T-junction when you want to simply transfer items to the other lane. Now let's put what we've learned into a practical solution for our smelting column. There you go. Problem solved. Now we have a fully compressed belt for the output. If you like this tutorial and you're not subscribed, you are on the wrong lane.